Hey girl, hey, it's your girl Jay, and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thanks so much for sliding through, and if you're returning, welcome back, girl. As you can tell by today's title, we are going to be doing something a little fun. Now, I saw, I, I have been tagged in this video, like, I don't know how many times it's been sent to me. People telling me I need to try it, do, do, do. So I said, you know what, I'm going to try it, put my little spin on it, and we're going to see what we can do. So today, we actually worked with two different textures. Now, I've never done that before, and as you see, it gave us a much more full result. I, ha I used, what, two and a half, I guess you can say I used about three bundles worth of hair, and this is what we got now i have used three to four bundles worth of hair before and i did not get this full result but i think because we used two different textures it just looks a whole lot more full and i'm loving it so i do want to say thanks to Y wigs too for sponsoring today's video you guys anytime like an idea pops in my head they're just like yep let's work so i just love working with them their hair is just so good um and today i did want to go ahead and instead of showing you what it looks like once it's like all wet down and perfect and all that stuff i wet it down we took a beat and this is what it looks like when it's all dry. So yes, if you are wanting to see how I achieve this look, make sure that you do stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe. Now before we get into anything else, I do want to provide a disclaimer. When you're mixing the textures, you want to make sure that the curl is going in the same pattern. Don't go do like no deep wave curly with kinky curly. That's going to be super, super tangled. You're not going to be able to brush it. It's just going to look really, really weird. I think that choosing, the, um, choosing a pattern that kind of goes together is going to produce such a beautiful results so for today's style we did use um, two different textures so these are the textures that we use today as you see I only have a little bit left so this is going to be our loose deep wave and then this one is going to be our water wave they are both super super pretty they both feel so good like the y'all know this is my favorite curl of all so when i was able to mix this with it like it just produced such a beautiful result i was a little skeptical at first i was skeptical but no i absolutely love it so yes um i'm gonna have these linked down below for you for your convenience so if you want to go grab both you can go ahead and do that so yeah i absolutely love these i do want to get into like some of the products and things like that that you'll need for today's style um i pretty much use all of the same products each time i do i do my hair and as you guys know they are going to be linked in the description below um so of course you're going to need two or three bundles of the curly hair you can mix and match however you want but if you are liking this fullness that i have right here then i only recommend maybe like two to three bundles um two bundles of the loose deep wave or one bundle of the loose deep wave and two bundles of the water wave however you want to mix it that's all you're really going to need i did use braiding hair today and as you guys know i typically love a little boneless look but today i wanted to be super full so i did make my braids um, match the size of the actual box two packs of braiding hair i used one full pack and then one bundle of the second one you're going to need some braiding gel combs a three mirror and a braiding rack the braiding rack is going to be linked down below as well i am actually going to be coming up with my own line of products and things like that for you guys to buy make it a whole lot easier to buy all in one because these things are essential when you're trying to do your own hair so be on the lookout for that anyway yes so let's go ahead and get into the actual style today we're going to be doing majority like a voiceover i just want to show you guys how i'm actually doing the style um i've probably made a million of these videos by now but you guys seem to love them so i'm going to continue to make them because there's so many different ways that you can do like boho styles and i'm so excited for the month of october because we're going to get into so many different like looks and all that so yeah, make sure that you stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe let's go ahead and get into it right now So naturally I'm going to be starting with a freshly washed and blown out head of hair. I say it all the time, this 3A mirror is so essential when it comes to parting your hair. So I had no idea what size I wanted to do today so I just let the universe pick for me and we are going to be doing medium. That's a mix between small and medium so let's go ahead and get into it. So I followed a new parting method today and this was a whole lot easier. You can see your parts a whole lot better. I can see like all the rows are even and I can kind of like estimate how, how long each row is going to take me before I get to it. Um, I definitely think I'm going to start incorporating this even in all my clients. Um, I think it's so much easier. As you can see, it's so clean. So 
So we're gonna start on the bottom row. Now on the bottom row, when it comes to feeding in the bow pieces, I would not feed them in at the base, mainly because this is gonna cause a lot of tangling and snagging. This is the part that we lay on the most. It's gonna get trapped in the bonnet and in our clothing. So I would braid down about a half an inch to an inch before I start feeding in any of the human hair. Now I'm gonna feed in about six to seven pieces on the bottom row. Now when we get to the top, you'll see I'll start feeding in more and more to each braid, but since we're on the bottom row, I'm just going to feed in about six or seven pieces, and then at the end, I'm just going to knot it, and you'll see that later. So we've made it to the third row and as you see I'm just feeding in the braiding hair pieces. I like to add in three pieces. I um, always like to add in my hair in equal parts but I'm going to be adding in thicker pieces this time than I normally do so I'm not going to add in more than three. I'm just going to add in the three. And then once I get to a comfortable position as you see I always flip the braid and I'm going to immediately start feeding in the boho pieces. Now now that we're on the third row I'm going to feed in maybe about eight to nine pieces per braid and knot it at the end. And as we get to the top, I'm just going to start adding in the boho pieces more regularly, just more and more, just adding to that fullness. Now how I lined it up on the rack is I lined up half of the rack with the loose deep wave and then the other half with the water wave. And I'm just going to keep on going in between the different textures, like each braid. Now as you see I'm at the top of my head and I'm preparing my braid like normal except I'm going to add a piece of the human hair in at the base. I'm going to do one full braid motion and then I'm going to add in a second piece. This is how you ensure that that fullness starts at the top and like matches on its way down. I'm also going to go ahead and start braiding in the actual braiding hair just the three pieces like the other places on my head. And as we go you're going to see I'm going to add in more hair more often and yeah, that's because I like it really full. So as you can see, I added in about 10 pieces of the human hair for this one single braid. I could have definitely done more, I could have definitely done more, but you're going to at least need to add in 10.
Now when you have a really good um, quality of hair, you should be able to dip it in hot water and it should not like ruin the curl pattern or the texture. That's what I'm doing here. I'm just dipping it because the ends, um, of course I do have some braiding hair in there and I just decided to dip it all together. You can separate it from the human hair if you would like, but as you see, it just, it just does not make a difference. And I did choose not to curl the ends and that's just because this hair is so thick, you cannot even see the straight ends. And just like that, we are back with the final look. As you guys saw, I went ahead and I um, dipped the ends and everything like that. I didn't want to saturate the whole head, like all of my hair, just because I don't want my hair to be dripping wet while I'm out and about. So it did kind of dry in the process of me doing, me doing my makeup. But at least you can see what it looks like when it's all dried down. As you see, like the texture of the hair did not change. Um, you do have some of the larger curls and then you have like the smaller water wave curls as well. I absolutely love the results. Y'all know I get down when it comes to the boho. I'm gonna give you a really, really good 360 just so you can see. Um, I definitely think I love this parting method a whole lot more. I feel like it was a lot easier um, and it was easier for me to follow the map as well. As you've seen already, I did use like the little map or whatever and I have exactly 73 braids. So exactly what the map said is exactly what I have. It was a whole lot easier to follow. In total, this took me about eight and a half hours to complete. Now, because I do film, it is a little bit hard. It slows me down a little bit because I need to make sure that things are not in view, whatever. So it did take me a little um, longer this time. Well, no, I think that's kind of like my average. So like I, it took me eight and, eight and a half hours to complete this start to finish. And yeah, I love it. Now I am gonna trim a little bit off of the ends just because I don't like straggly ends. I like it to look like super full. And I don't mind if it uh, looks blunt. I feel like it looks more natural. And I know you guys are going to ask. I chose not to actually uh, curl the ends of these braiding here just because it's so, it blends in so good. You can hardly even see that the ends are straight. And I feel like it just would have took on a little bit longer to curl the ends. If you do want to curl the ends, you definitely can. I just feel like it doesn't really, it's not really like that noticeable that the braids, um, the braiding hair is straight. So we went ahead and done that. So this is what it looks like from the back. I think it's so perfect. Um, I think that even in the fall, you can do the boho as well. I love like a more sultry curl. I don't want anything too tight, too fluffy. I think this is really, really perfect. Um, yeah, I just love it a whole lot. Yeah, so I hope that this video was helpful. Thank you for doing my hair with me. And I will see you in the very next video. And I do want to say thanks again to Wild Wigs for sponsoring today's video. Adios.